Hello, and thank you for joining us for this presentation of the MicroStrategies Outlook integration into Alfresco. In front of you, you see Outlook 2007. This integration does work with 2010 as well as XP. So here's my new document. I'm going to double click on it. And you'll notice the little icon right here, Save to Alfresco. I'm going to click on that, and up pops the Save to Alfresco screen. Now from here you'll notice a couple of things. You've got a document classification list. This is what will allow you to control what properties or metadata are available for your document. So if you've seen previous demonstrations, you'll notice that, for example, I click invoice and this list over here grows and shrinks. So you can control what properties can be associated with that document. And again, this happens to be the matter information. And as we talked about earlier in other presentations, this, if you're dealing with more AP-related stuff, could be vendor, could be project, could be customer. Really depends on the implementation. So the clients tell us what this needs to be. So I'll select a matter. And I'll hit look up. And it'll validate this information against whatever that system needs to be. This happens to be a matter management system. It could be validating against Oracle Financials if it's vendor information. Now the key thing you'll notice is down here. This is your email and this is that attachment. You'll notice they're both in red. The reason they're both in red is they're letting you know that they don't exist yet. So if this email with attachment had been sent to four other people and anybody else would have already saved it, these would be green. But because of the fact that nobody saved anything yet, they're red. So I at this point in time will select my doc type for the email, we'll say correspondence. And the subtype is email. And my status is received. And that, of course, is for my email. For the attachment, if it's the same matter, I can hit same as previous. It'll attach the same matter. No lookup needed. And then I'll just attach my doc types. And I can put a title. And if need be, I can add some comments. Once I'm done, I can go off and hit Save Message. And it will automatically file this message in the appropriate location in the repository based on the properties that I had set up. Now, like I said earlier, if somebody had already saved this email into the system by the time I got to it, when I hit Save to Alfresco, the difference is now it's green. Okay, and the reason it's green is because what it did, it is noticed that somebody had already saved that document into the repository. And that's why these are green. And it'll also say it's going to make a new version of this document. And of course, if you like, you can view the document and view the email. Even though you're viewing the email right here, you can view the document. And that's how easy it is to save your documents and attachments into Alfresco.